The recent arrest of Wadi Maswada, a five-year-old Palestinian child by the Israeli military, has caused outrage around the world. The Israeli soldiers arrested the child for allegedly throwing a rock, even though the arrest of anyone that age is a violation of Israeli law. After the arrest, the child was threatened and the child's father was handcuffed and blindfolded. Etian Bookman, a spokesman for the Israeli military, responded to the outrage declaring, this is conduct that was considered reasonable by all military personnel involved. Many human rights activists who have watched the video, such as Bill Doors, hold a different opinion. And I wish I could see, say I was shocked, but unfortunately the brutal, brutalization and imprisonment of children is routine practice for the Israeli military. At any given time, there are hundreds, literally hundreds of children as young as 11 in Israeli prisons. Uh, very few Palestinians on the West Bank reach the age of 18 without suffering arrest or abuse by the military or by the settlers. He was accused of throwing a rock that hit the, car, hit the tire of a car of a settler. These settlers who are routinely go through villages, tear up olive trees, beat people, brutalize people, and most of them are from here. These soldiers are being paid by U.S. money. Their weapons are provided by the United States, are paid for by the United States. And why should they, Israel stop behaving in this manner as long as it gets an un, unending supply of U.S. dollars, no matter how brutal and abusive it, it is? In 1991, Israel ratified the United Nations Convention on the Rights of a Child. Though Israel has signed this international treaty, the UN has often criticized Tel Aviv for violating the rights of children. In 2012, the United Nations Committee on the Rights of the Child said Israel had committed, quote, gross violations of the Convention on the Rights of the Child. The committee went on to say that Israel had carried out, quote, the destruction of homes and damage to schools, streets, and other public facilities that gravely affect children. Sharon Eolis, a retired Jewish nurse residing in New York City, saw the rights of children being violated when she visited Gaza in 2006. And it's important to understand that these children are losing their right to grow, to thrive, and the people of Gaza are losing their right to self-determination for themselves. Children are living outside, no running water, no sewage drainage, all of which leads to disease, and children are more vulnerable when their intake of calories in terms of food is decreased. When they're in this hot weather, when the water is contaminated and drinking it can lead you to become sick and maybe die. Many people feel that the recent arrest of a Palestinian child is just the latest in Israel's continued policy of disregarding the rights of children. Caleb Maupin, Press TV, New York.